In this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can use shades and dry brushes and get our terrain fully painted. Welcome to Tabletop Already. My name's Michael and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to finish painting the terrain from the 40k Command Edition starter set. This tutorial is a continuation from my getting started with 40k video where I showed you how to get your terrain started and ready for using on the tabletop. So I've now shown you how to get both the Ultramarines and Necrons fully painted, it's now time to show you how to get the terrain finished as well. I'll put the brushes and paints I use in this tutorial in the description below as well as putting them on the screen when I use them. If you enjoy my content please give this video a like and let me know in the comments below. And if you want to help support what I do, you can become a channel member or you can join my Patreon which I'll also link in the description. I really appreciate any help and support and it goes a long way to growing the channel and allows me to keep improving the content I create for you. And I massively appreciate the continued support from these amazing people as well. Through this series of tutorials, I've already gone through a lot of the ideas and techniques to help you get everything painted. So I won't be going into so much detail in this tutorial, but I'll still be going through all the things that you'll need to get your train finished. We've already built and should already have some base colours on our terrain which I showed you how to do in my getting started with 40k video. We first undercoated our terrain using Wraith Bone Spray. After that we picked out all the details and features using Mephiston Red, Lead Belcher, Retributor Armour, Rune Lord Brass, Abaddon Black and Corex White. We're now ready to work on creating definition using some shades and highlights to bring out all that detail. Because terrain tends to be bigger than the miniatures we generally paint, we can rely on washes and dry brushes more to get them painted. This really helps bring out all those details which there are a lot more of when dealing with larger pieces. In this section of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your shades to bring out all the detail and make things look more weathered. Let's start by applying shades to the metallic details we've already painted, starting with Norn Oil for any silver details, Reichland Flesh Shade for the gold details, and Agrax Earth Shade for any Rune or Brass details. We're doing this first because any washes and shades we apply from now on will be more for effect and we want to make sure we bring out all the details in those areas first. The next thing we're going to do is to use some shades to make our terrain look more weathered. Now it is going to get messy so you may want to put down some paper towel first. We're now going to do an all over wash made with an equal amount of Agrax Earth Shade and water. I am using a larger brush to do this just because we want to cover larger areas, any brush will do. Remember we don't want to go crazy with the wash and only use enough to cover areas comfortably so we don't get any pooling. If you see the wash is pulling up too much in areas, you can remove any excess with your brush. When the wash is dried, you should now be able to see all the details better and because we thin the shade it doesn't overpower the colours we've already painted and just helps to make our terrain look dirty and weathered. As well as bringing out all the details, the shade has made it look like grime, oil and dirt has built up making things look more weathered and I want to continue building on that with another shade. I'm now going to apply Norn Oil around the base of the terrain where we'd expect things to be a lot dirtier being sat on the ground. Shades are a great way to bring out details on terrain because it covers large areas easily and using it in different ways can really help give us different effects creating interest. Let's continue to bring out all the details next with some highlights. In this section of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how using some dry brushing, we can really bring out all that detail. Because the terrain has larger areas of detail, this makes it perfect for dry brushing, making it a quick process to get it all highlighted. Let's start by dry brushing the red areas with Mephiston Red. This is going to help brighten these areas back up, making them more of a feature. We can make this quite a heavy dry brush so it builds up on the flatter areas as well as the edges. Now we're going to do a dry brush using Screaming Skull over everything. This is a nice quick, easy and simple way to get all those details to start being more noticeable. 
The first dry brush is also going to help smooth everything out and not look so messy. When you're happy that's done, let's do another dry brush, but this time using Corax White. This is really going to bring out all those sharp edges and rivets. And combined with everything else we've done, our terrain will look weathered, dusty and something that has been used. We've now finished doing our highlights and we could say our terrain is finished, but let's see if there's any small details we can work on. In this final section of the tutorial, I want to show you how to paint some of the smaller details on our terrain. There are always small details on terrain like computer panels, switches and gauges and it's really up to you how much of these details you want to get painted. We can paint any gauges using Corax White first of all on all the instrument panels and a fist and red for any needles. Finish any gauges using Norn Oil to create that definition. For any computer screens start with Warp Stone Glow. Then paint a thin line around the edge using some Moot Green. The last details you may want to paint are all the lenses and lights. Start with some Corax White and then finish these details with some Athematic Blue Contrast. With that done you should be able to get your own terrain finished and we've now gone through the whole process of getting everything from the 40k starter sets fully painted, including the Necrons and Ultramarines. So let's see how this drain turned out and how it looks with everything else. Now everything's painted, I hope I've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to get your own terrain and miniatures painted and start your journey in the Warhammer hobby. This has been a really fun series to do and I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. I'll put all the tutorials and videos in a playlist so make sure to go and check those out. If you've enjoyed this series let me know in the comments below and make sure to like the videos. This really helps support the channel and shows YouTube you enjoyed the content and it will be shared to more people. You can also support the channel by becoming a channel member or by joining Patreon. Any support goes a long way to creating this content. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos and tutorials.